Hey friends, welcome to the OBB competition review. Now I have some amazing announcements, but before that I'd like to thank you all. I'd like to thank the people who watched, competed, and judged the competition. We had 150 competitors from over 20 different countries submitting some amazing folds. Now it's really an honor to be able to host this folding competition and I'm excited to bring more in the coming year. Now because of everyone who participated, this is not just a competition, but a platform to support origami artists. We've raised a couple hundred dollars to our designers and judges, as well as given out a few hundred dollars as prizes to our amazing champions. Now, speaking of our champions, I'd like to highlight them. So, from competition one, we have Kay Morisue. For competition two, we have Nicholas and Margaret. From competition three, we have Alfred. And competition four, we have Alan. Now, for the big announcement, what could it be? Well. It is actually for everyone who didn't participate in the competition, I am releasing the OBB Competition 2022 collection. So this is all the diagrams from the four competitions. And if you didn't get a chance to participate, but you really were interested in the designs, this is your chance to get them all bundled together for a great price. And of course, I'd like to thank the designers for giving me permission and for partnering with me on this project to publish this book. You can buy this book now as an ebook. So from anywhere in the world on my website, go to obb.design slash shop or slash comp and you'll be able to see it. I'll have the link in the description. Be sure to grab a copy and you'll be directly supporting Origami Artists and this competition. Now for the second announcement. So I've actually been keeping track of the scores kind of like a 2022 season and tallying them to see who participated in the most competitions and scored the highest. So, I present the top five season one OBB participants. So in first place, we have Greg from the USA. And second place, we have Romain from France. Third place, we have a former champion, that's Nicholas, also from France. Fourth place, we have another champion, that is Alfred and from Poland. And fifth place is Ranu from Indonesia. Now, not all of these top five have been champions, but I was very, very impressed with their folds and for their consistency and how they grew throughout each competition. The topics were very varied and it was really cool to see them tackle, you know, from humanoid origami, insects, geckos, the whole sorts. Now, it wouldn't be an OBB competition if these top five did not get a prize. So, top five, you will receive a free copy of the OBB competition 2022 collection as well as getting a quick segment and an origami review. Let's take a look at some of their folds. So I'm gonna go through the top five and review my favorite fold from their submissions. So first up, we have Greg in first place. Big congrats, Greg, great job. Thank you for joining so many competitions. And my favorite submission was your Golofa beetle. This side. <laughs> so one thing I really like about this Golofa beetle is just the time taken and spent into the leg segments, you know, this takes, this is not easy, and to get them that clean, even though you're wrapping the paper through multiple layers, thin and thin and thin, was really, really impressive. So, what an awesome fold. I really like the color. The whole structure is pretty great because the legs are grounded. That's what I like to see in insects, and there's a lot of detail that's built in. So, very nice fold. And next up, we have Romaine. And I might have been biased on this one, but I really liked his fold of my waifu design. And I think it actually scored second place. Now, as you can see, the patterns, just because of the paper choice, really work well as the dress for this model. Um, you know, juxtaposed with the dark black hair as a natural color change. You know, Romaine definitely nailed the paper choice, the presentation of this model, as well as execution, you know, giving it some more unique shaping to draw some emotion and to really give it a unique style. So I really like it. The overall form is really great and it looks really awesome. And in third, we have Nikolas and I have to highlight the fold that won the championship for him. And so this is another Golofa beetle. This time you can see the use of color change on the paper. It's not a natural color change, but for presentation, it looks really good. You can also see there's a great execution in the legs. Got the detail on the spikes got the really thinness, they, they almost look um, like cylinders instead of just being folded flat or, or just you know super thinned out. So a lot of care has been done in the legs, the shell it's nice and rounded and the head looks really grand. 
Um, also, nature photography, big plus for a presentation there. Really, really like this submission. And next we have Alfred, also with the fold for his championship. And this is the Dragon by Francesco Massimo. And it's really nice. Um, once again, we have natural color change. We have great paper choice, great form on the Dragon, and a really nice picture with it on his hand. You know, um, go check out Alfred's Instagram account. You'll see he's really good at folding dragons, really has an eye for how to pose them and present them. Um, this one is, you know, no difference. It's it's so good. There's, you know, some emotion in just even the way the front claw is pointed down and shaped. So I really like this one. Definitely deserves to win. Great, great submission. And in fifth, we have Ranu. Now, Ranu, I've been very impressed with through all the different competitions he's joined as how much he's improved with each one. You can tell just by looking at the folds that Ranu loves to make origami. And you can check out in this leaf-tailed gecko, there's a lot of detail that's being placed and a lot of thought processes in the shaping, such as, you know, some tertiary details in the tail from, you know, the nice shaping and the toes and the front toes, which are point split, which is, you know, very hard to execute cleanly. Um, overall, there's some detail in the form and just some added textures that make it really nice. Also, Ranu is getting a great eye for photography. This is a really nice photo. Um, th that's a great leaf to have the leaf-tailed gecko on. Um, gotta admit, that's, that's really nice. So, shout out to Ranu, shout out to Indonesia. Great stuff. And that wraps up the origami review and the competition review. And once again, I'd like to thank everyone for participating. You know, it's super exciting to have a consistent folding competition going on. And that's going to continue for next year, which speaking of next year, right after this video premieres, if you are watching it live right now, will be the announcement for OBB Competition 5. That's right. It's just it's happening right now, right after this video. So go check that out. And if you're watching this later, maybe the competition's still going on. So go check out my website, obb.design slash comp to check out how you can sign up. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. All this origami, all this origami, all this origami got me going kamikaze. Now I'm